Hello all and welcome to another video in my journey to 1 million gamer score series and uh, with the first half of April in the history books it is now time to bring to you April part 1 now before I get cracking on with the games I just want to bring to attention three milestones that I achieved recently the first one being quite obvious there for getting 350,000 game score very pleased with that uh, secondly that means I now have 100,000 game score so far in 2019 so I'm also very pleased with that and then thirdly thanks to the tracking system on trueachievements.com it brought to my attention that I've now won 10,000 individual achievements so I am extremely pleased with that and with those mentions uh, done let's uh, crack on with the games and if you've seen my videos before you'll know I like to do these in chronological order which brings me down to Neo Geo Soccer Brawl and if you caught the end of my previous video you'll know that this was sitting on 900G with the last high score mode achievement frustrating the hell out of me um, as you'll see there I did manage to get it eventually done and then with all that information it was still fresh in my mind and, and active and the fact that I thought well if I can do it once I can do it twice I then whipped up my Windows 10 laptop and stacked it so it's basically a futuristic soccer ball game where the only real rules are is to outscore your opponent and I found the best way to score a goal in this was to as you're running a goal you have to hold X to sort of power up your bar and then when you get sort of to the edge of the area or just inside the area I released X and it made him shoot and then I kept tapping the X like a madman and if it didn't go directly in he'd flick the rebound in 9 times out of 10 the only annoying thing is that you have to be in front of goal and pointing at it because you will shoot exactly the direction you're running you can't sort of direct it so that's a little bit annoying and making it a bit trickier than it could potentially be so yeah but once you get the knack of scoring goals then you can go under caravan mode and the it wants you to score 10 in 5 minutes to get all 3 achievements tied to that believe it or not that's not too bad once you get the hang of scoring goals it might be a bit tight so you might need 2 or 3 attempts original mode which will be super easy if you crank it down to level 1 and the fact that if you do lose you can continue and it won't break your win streak towards the achievements so you can have multiple attempts at uh, every game should you need it just remember to register score at the end as well for that achievement and then that brings you on to high score mode which is one two and three wins the first game not a problem relatively easy second game might be tricky at times but not too bad once you've got the mechanics of the game down to a little bit of a fine art however the third game the opponents turn into a godlike mode um, what I eventually got um, or eventually worked out which sort of uh, really really helped is that I, re I soon realised that the right trigger makes you just barging attack or barging challenge which will knock opponent off the ball and floor them for a while and you can even hit people that aren't even on the ball as well so and floor them for a while which might be leave you enough time to actually get a shot away and if you score then you end up wasting trying to waste time as much as possible if you're ahead obviously and uh, oh, it's just so frustrating that high score mode achievement that is only really what reason why I can really tag this game as being easy-ish 900 once you've learned the mechanics and learned the game a bit with a very challenging final achievement because obviously if you do lose that third game you then have to play the first or second one again in high score mode <laughs> there's no two ways about it you have to do that so easiest 900 with a challenging final 100 year achievement Next up, Formula 1 2018. Now this was sitting on 960 and was a free to play game for an entire weekend. And then I just ran out of time with two grindy-ish achievements. Just ran out of time, just, you know, I put 40 odd hours into it and, and was just fell just short. And unfortunately it was a lot of money for a game if I only wanted to play it really to get the last two achievements out of it. So I kind of left it in the hope it would turn up in Game Pass. And sure enough, it actually did. I couldn't believe me luck. So. I then played it in Game Pass, got to level 25 online, got my DRS energy bar enough power to light a light bulb for a whole year achievement. Sorry, that's a mouthful to say. That was only a 10 year achievement. And uh, But the two achievements I managed to, get, managed to get out of it now and round it up to the 4000 and so I just added 40G out of this game this month. Right, Zachariah Pinball is a free to download game but you only get one table that one table should be enough for you to easily get two or three hundred out of it you will need to buy one of the DLC packs I would say personally to get all the other achievements it's super hard to get certain mode achievements out of that one free table I bought the electromechanical tables pack 
and was able to get the other 700 out of tables within that pack experimenting with a lot of tables I even submitted a three sorry not a three achievement solutions to trueachievement.com which have been well received three of the achievements and the best tables to use I would recommend looking at the best tables to use for each achievements and then buying the DLC necessary if you really want the full completion on this I was able to get it by just buying that electrical mechanical pack which cost me eight pounds something um, I would say timer time margin around about the 10 hour mark I would say I was actually the 10th person on true achievements dot com to max out this game so I was kind of pleased with that um, the only thing I will say is obviously there is still a luck element to it because at the end of the day the run of the ball may just screw you but yeah look up which tables are best for each achievement and this one is, is certainly doable because if I can do it why not ok glass masquerade this is a fun little puzzle game I actually really enjoyed this uh, you get an achievement for just starting it and then you'll get an achievement at the end as well for finishing all 25 puzzles on top of finishing the last puzzle because each puzzle has its own achievement tied to it for finishing it basically um, the puzzles are like a smashed stained glass window I suppose hence the name and then you have to piece it together in the shape that's in front of you it gives you four or five pieces to basically work with because there's little circles around the edge of the puzzle which line up with little circles on pieces that are flashing red at the beginning so you can put them them in and they work around them I mean use your classic puzzle solving solution of finding edge pieces and stuff but just take your time and so on I think the worst time I had for any puzzle was one of the hardest difficulty ones it took me 18 minutes but there are some really easy ones that will take you no time at all but yeah just sit down with it patiently in one evening I reckon you probably four to five hours with a bit of patience maybe a little bit more tiny bit more if you struggle on one or two of them and you can get this done in an evening and it's, uh, it's quite relaxing I actually quite enjoyed it for for exactly what it is so not too bad a completion that one not too bad at all and next up we have probably the easiest completion of the year so far it's not not probably actually is the easiest completion of the year so far if you quickly watch a guide I have one on my channel in my all the pops series you can get this done in four to five minutes honestly I took it on without knowing what the game was about and no guard at all just went straight into it and done it in around about ten minutes and now I know the game I can do it in under five it really is that simple seriously if you want a thousand games score in no time at all this will be your game okay we've got me two Android games here I'm just gonna skip past those because I've just really added some medals in Wordament uh, no new achievements there. I think I picked up a couple of smallish ones in Microsoft Solitaire Collection, but I play it so infrequently there's not so much advice I can offer on that one for now. But they are both free, so it's free game score. So snag those from your iOS store if you've got an Android like I have. Uh, next up, Need for Speed Most Wanted. I had 350 game score out of this already, which was 12 achievements, so there's a lot tied to those last three. Each achievement is for defeating a rival on the blacklist. Um, to take on that rival, you first have to win so many races out of a set given, achieve so many milestones out of a set given, and be at a certain bounty level. And then once you've done that, it gives you the opportunity to challenge the rival. And then the rival you have to win so many races on, um, depending on how far the blacklist is, how many you then have to beat them in. You have to do it consecutively. You can't just back out halfway through or quit out and think, I'll carry on tomorrow. When you get to that stage, you have to win all three races, or in the case of the last bloke, all five races. Um, as a game, it's probably a long time to complete, even though it's not too bad to do. About 25 to 30 hours, I reckon, I put into it. Just what slowed me down was sometimes not having enough bouncy after having enough milestones, and then having to take on the police and, and evade them for the bounty to count. Because if they catch you, the bounty don't count but it was a lot of fun and this is the 06, 05, 06 version of Most Wanted there is a 2012 version with the same title I don't know why this doesn't have no thumbnail there beats me but um, yeah it was a lot of fun I really enjoyed this one so a good completion as well next up the Smurfs 2 now this is a kids game which was bought solely for Gamerscore uh, quick one for completions out there this does require two controllers for the full 1000 there is one achievement which needs a second controller which is finishing a level in co-op so that's not too hard to do on the first world first level by yourself if just you need two controllers as for the rest of the game it is easy it's real easy time span on this one is six to eight hours 
it's pretty much a side scrolling platformer you get achievements for finishing each world there's obviously a boss at the end of each world there's an achievement for beating each boss without getting hits they're real easy to learn they take three hits and the pattern is the same and not too difficult to learn the only thing I should really add about this is it will take two full playthroughs because there are achievements for collecting 50 and 100 of the coins which are dotted around each level even if you've unlocked all the smurfs with all the abilities you still need to finish the game because there are certain blocked off metal sections or sections blocked off with metal that you can't get through with any smurf they just become open once the game's complete so effectively you may as well speed run the game and then play it again and then focus on the coins and also by completing the game we'll have what's called smurf mode which is left or right triggering through the smurfs mid level and changing to ones with different abilities because you unlock different ones with different abilities as you progress through the worlds as as well so but yeah it's really easy i think i've covered just about everything there's a lot to say about this game um oh you pick up berries like sonic picks up rings and like Sonic, if you get hit, your berries come out of you, and then you grab them to, to basically re-add a hit to you. But they're everywhere. They actually throw some at you at the start. They're literally everywhere to collect. You also get knocked out of you when you get hit. So you'll grab them really quickly. So the levels are not hard to finish at all. If you fall down a gap, you rise up in a bubble. And then you press A to drop yourself where you want. It's not difficult at all. Um, the other achievements are for using each Smurf's ability 20 times a level which is just basically pressing X 20 times in a level. It is a real easy completion, 6 to 8 hours like I said at the beginning. Uh, next up, play some Forza Horizon 4 and that is because with the update there was um, achievements, 35G achievements for winning each season's championships, like all championships available within a season and I was able to pick up all three seasons I was missing within the time span of the beginning of April. So got three 35G achievements also managed to participate in every Forzathon event in one session that I was online for, or not really one session, but three in a row. If you do three in a row, it's a 30G achievement. So nabbed that one as well. So yeah, got just over 100G out of Forza Horizon 4 at the beginning of this month too. Uh, still plenty more on that I want to go for. Uh, next up is a game where I use my guide guy, as I call him. Uh, Maca91 has a guide on his channel, which he's made recently for a recent released game called Where the Bees Make Honey. It has a runtime of just over half an hour, however you will need to play through it twice. Your first playthrough you'll nab 700G and then you'll need to get the other ending and there is no way of cheating the system so you have to play through the game again. You'll unlock the achievement for the other ending and in which you'll also unlock the achievement for watching both endings. So you'll see that's why you get another 300G for playing through it a second time but uh, it's not too difficult a game even if there are some frustrating mechanics in in the middle of it which he also mentions in his video which I totally agree with you Sermaka it is awful though bunny mechanics but yeah it's not a difficult game to complete at all just need a little bit of patience where those mechanics get frustrating okay so finally above where the bees make honey is Mechanica uh, my guy guy didn't have a guy on this but I did find another guide on YouTube uh, you can find that in my playlist uh, titled guides I've used with 100% success and can vouch for I can't remember the user's name but please check it out if you're going to go for this game it is a very good guide he's obviously spent a lot of time in working out how to get everything in the shortest way possible so kudos to you sir and his runtime video is also just over half an hour I mean you allow some time for pausing and um, sort of needing to watch what's going on because uh, there is no audio commentary but that really doesn't affect the quality of the guide to be honest with you it is a very good guide and it enabled me to pick up 1000G in around about an hour, an hour and a half because I do pause and watch a lot um, when it comes to guides that's just my personal preference so ladies and gentlemen that does bring me to the end of April part one and what I achieved so far if you do have any questions about any game I've played in this section or a previous section please put it in the comment section below and I will try and help out where as possible because I like to do as much as I can for the uh, the achievement hunting community as possible so yeah please do that so like comment subscribe your heart out any of that will help me greatly and then finally ladies and gentlemen I think that all that leads me to say to you now is take care